hi so i brought to you today a special recipe that i call creamy yam porridge i call it creamy because you're gonna make use of um coconut milk in cooking of this yam porridge and now we'll start by cutting our yam i'm just using that half i'm not gonna use everything we're cutting our yam now into pieces and sure you wash it and clean it so well and this is the girl all over me welcome to my channel welcome to Becky's kitchen if this is your first time please subscribe to my channel and on the notification bell please subscribe please don't be watching without subscribe and if you've been watching please always like like my video and comment I would appreciate that thank you so much so now I've cut and done rinse my yam and now I'm cutting it into cubes just as I want so please do yours as you want so now after cutting the whole thing we have all the recipes we're gonna use and others that we're gonna add to heat as we're cooking and we're gonna drop the whole thing in the comment section in a clean pan like this we we'll add some olive oil yeah yeah i understand like oh why is she using oil for um porridge don't worry the staples you see when i'm gonna add my palm oil but i'm starting with this olive oil for the beans so staples now i'm gonna add some um onions actually it's not some that's a whole huge onions i love onions Says Jeffrey the onions to ensure the onions is well infused inside my oil. Now we'll move on to the next ingredient after some few seconds of stir frying this onions because we don't want it to be crunchy, crunchy. And now it's time for me to add my crayfish. I'm gonna add some crayfish to this and add all the seasonings to this stage. Add some paprika and some others. I'm gonna drop the whole thing in my description box. So stir fry everything together. Then I'm going to add my tomato paste. I stir fry again to ensure the tomato paste is well cooked before adding the pepper mix. To ensure your tomato paste is well cooked before adding the pepper mix, it's very important so that you don't have the sour taste of cooked um, tomato paste so now it has been stir frying for a couple of minutes I'm adding my pepper mint this pepper mint is red bell pepper and scotch bonnet and onions and um, garlic and that is it to bring it to boil then I blend so it all depends on the amount of yam you're cooking that will determine the sauce you're gonna cook so I'm cooking a very little sauce because the yam I'm cooking is not much so now I'm going to add my coconut milk. As I've said, I'm not going to use water to cook this. I'm using coconut milk because I want it to be very creamy, creamy, and creamy. <laughs> so it's time for me to put my yam into this. And ensure you cook this yam in a low medium heat, please guys cook it in a low medium heat because you want it to cook um, slowly and not um, just get burnt and all that so I actually think I like to cook my food in a very low medium heat because I prefer them to be well cooked not just you know this uh, fast eat and just cook and you know I don't know how to put it so now the yam is very soft and I'm using that to just match it together guys this one is actually because I have a baby and I don't want to go through the stress of oh matching this yam for her and all that so I like to kind of match my yam to be very very soft so that she can easily use a spoon and you know do some heating so now this is it I still have some whole yam inside this for others that actually want to see but for me i love it like this it all depends on how you want it plus whenever i'm cooking my creamy coconut here i might prefer it like this so i notice it's too thick and i don't want to add any cream 
at this moment i decided to add my coconut water today so guys everything i'm using is coconut 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 <laughs> and i love coconut milk a lot you know i use it for my smoothies for coconut rice so many recipes i've not even shared on this channel that i use coconut milk for and you know a lot of recipes so now i added uh, more crayfish just you know to combine some taste and just to hang the cooking cover it for a while for the coconut water to be well mixed and i had my sweet peppers this is totally optional it's just to add some colors and some sweetness to this food and just do you if you don't like sweet peppers just turn off the heat and voila, your food is ready so hope you enjoyed this video hope you like what you see and are you gonna try this at home Please do let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for all your support. And I'm going to see you some more the time. Bye. And have a great day. Bye.